Welcome back to a Wednesday morning edition of Eat My Shorts. Right here in the ranting chair, this won't be the filter tube of doom in place of a lucky strike. Sorting the world's problems out after coffee and a shower and getting the laundry done. Waking up early because I woke up at like 4 o'clock and I have no good reason why. But hopefully today will be an easy day because I'm riding the struggle bus after yesterday. Between mom's code brown incident and all of the laundry I've had to do, getting her calmed the fuck down, it's been a real shit show. Which is what I want to talk about today. One of the funnest shit shows on the internet. What do I mean by that? Uh, if you don't know who the armed ape is, you're missing out. There are about three things I will stop what I'm doing for when I'm already watching something on the internet or when I'm sleeping or whatever. The Terribly Tactical Show. Rockford Ordinances, Collect, the Cobbs and Coffee, and the Arm Dave Show. And uh, I have to say to you, my dude, uh, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, I don't know how coherent I am or not, and to be honest with you, uh, I probably don't want to find out. Because, you know, nobody likes seeing their inebriated alter ego. Which, you know, I've made peace with mine. But in other news today... You know, everybody and their mother is talking about the assault weapons ban, right? I know, I know, beating the dead horse here, but listen. The thing that a lot of people aren't telling you about an assault weapons ban is they have basically no way of enforcing it unless they catch you committing a crime, right? And I, I support the abolishing of all firearms laws. Uh there should be only one rule with a firearm, that is, be mature enough to make good choices with it. You know, machine guns should be sold at Walmart. Hand grenades should be sold in the section where the eggs are, because I, I kind of enjoy the idea of that for some reason. And I think popular opinion has changed a lot about assault weapons and what they're for, right? And I use that term in mocking and jest because there is no such thing as an assault weapon. Assault is an action, not an object. Uh, what do I mean by that? Stupid people do stupid things every day, right? If you don't believe me, there are children being born right this minute because somebody was too stupid to pull out of their second cousin, okay? We know what you folks do down south in the trailer park. It's okay. And, and, and I say that in love and jest because obviously my southern friends are a lot smarter than that. And these are the same people that are inbred morons that think that somehow banning a, a, a weapon based off of appearances or function is going to change one goddamn thing in the world because it's not. People are still going to be uncool and ungroovy to one another. I hate to break your bubble, but we live in a fucked up world, yo. And uh, you know, I kind of learn more of this every day. Every time I get up, scratch my balls, go take a leak, light me a cigarette, start a cup of coffee. And by the way, I didn't burn myself this morning. Isn't that fucking peachy? And I go sit in front of the computer for a few minutes and figure out what in the holy world of dog shit happened last night, which, you know, the jury's still out on. We just don't know. And I see people behaving stupidly, but they're not doing it out here in the countryside where an AR-15 is the same as a fire extinguisher. In fact, arguably, there are more of those in the common house than fire extinguishers, right? See, back in the 90s, people were like, oh, well, I'll turn this thing in because you know, I don't need the trouble. And it's, you know, it's a fun toy and fuck the government, but I don't want to get myself in trouble. Whereas nowadays, it's seen as personal safety equipment, right? Because, you know, you can't get the cheap AK from China anymore. You can't get the cheap AK from Russia anymore. You can't get the fun SKS or, or a lot of these other guns. You can't find the Ruger Mini 14 for an affordable price. In fact, arguably, that's part of the reason the assault weapons ban existed, because of that cunt Bill Ruger. And he's like, well... Nobody's going to buy my lame-ass rifle if uh, 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 they can get a Bakelite side folder from China. Yeah, I know, right? Because who the fuck wants a Mini-14 unless you just want it for the A-Team cool factor, right? 
you know, bonus points for the AR-556 that they also only sold to law enforcement, right? Fucking select fire. You know. But I'm getting off a tangent here. You know, we went from those days where it was like, well, it's, you know, I don't really need it. I don't have to have it to... It's now my personal burglar alarm. It's now my personal safety equipment. It's now my personal rescue device. Okay, when I started carrying a handgun 20 years ago, most people, if they even had one to carry at all, it was usually a five or a six shot revolver or like a 1911. Maybe some of you guys with some money had a Beretta or a Glock, but in all reality, you know, we didn't have all the cool toys when I was a kid. And, it, and if they were around, you couldn't afford them, right? So they all either got banned by name or banned by feature, right? Double-edged sword on that one. And here's the logic, right? If you show one of these liberal communist fucktards a normal hunting rifle and an AR-15, they're like, well, clearly the AR-15 is more dangerous, but if you want to talk about sheer velocity and power, most bolt-action rifles or shotguns of any flavor you have are way, way more fucking dangerous than an AR-15. But they're like, well, you shouldn't be able to have that tiny little bullet that's effective on target. You know, you should have the big old caliber that'll shoot through your neighbor's elephant collection, you know? Like, the logic isn't there. And an assault weapons ban is so fucking unpopular, even the government's like, ah, we're not gonna be able to pull the dress up over their head and put it in their butt this time. We're going to have to do it at a state level. And they do. They get all the smooth-brained little mongoloids riled up. Like, oh, oh, scooey gun, scooey gun, oh, ban the magazines. Oh, no, why does it need a, a shoulder thing that goes up, right? That's a heat shield, you fucking old twat. I hate Diane Feinstein. But... They do it at a state level, and it still doesn't work because people aren't lining up to turn these things in. Even if they were, there's still other firearms out there that'll do the job, and rightfully so. But in areas where it's so hard to get a real weapon, like something that's modern and effective, the criminals still use the bad toys that everybody's afraid of. If you don't believe me, go take a walk on the south side of Chicago. You'll see more Glock switches and fucking ladyboys. You know, it's just the way it is, man. It's the world we live in. And it's a sick, sad fucking world. But I don't know what to tell you, man. If you're stupid enough to line in and register this thing or turn it in or give up a little bit of your freedom for the greater good, then you're too stupid to deserve to be a human being. Okay, you're stealing my oxygen. You know, everybody says, well, it's just a little freedom. Well, you take a little bit out of the, the freedom bottle every time, eventually you're left with an empty bottle and a headache where they clubbed you over the head with it. You know, they say, well, give up your freedom for the greater good. Freedom is the greater good. Imagine if I outlawed homosexuality. Let's say I had a fucking magic wand here. And I said, there will be no more cocksuckers and rug munchers in this world. Well, it'd be a pretty boring place, wouldn't it? But guess what? They'd still fucking do it. It was illegal in one point in history or not, believe it or not, to actually be gay. I think that's an egregious human rights violation. It was illegal for, let's say, I don't know, trained vision preparedness. You know, when his dad was growing up or his mom to use the same drinking fountain or toilet as us white folks. That's a fucking huge, huge and egregious human rights violation. That's not fucking cool. So all of these old unconstitutional laws are slowly getting overturned. Even that evil shit Roe versus Wade, you know, like an abortion is not a human right, especially in today's modern age. Like if you can't figure out how to not get knocked up, you kind of fucking deserve what happens to you. Right? And the real loser in all of this are the kids. So I want you to think about this shit as you're going through your day and you're hearing all this, oh, well, this person had an assault style weapon. Well, there's no such thing. That's why they keep talking. They want to keep lying long enough, it comes into existence. 
And if you like the video, like the video. If you don't, I don't really care. You can eat my shorts. And what shall we do for the word of the day? Armed Ape Circus, right? Because everybody loves a monkey with a machine gun, right? And uh, as always, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And uh, I'm going to go make sure Mama's taken care of and get all of my adult chores done because regardless if I feel like it or not, shit still needs done.